Our topic in this session is as unto the Lord. And we're in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 right now. And this is what it says. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. And the scripture in Ephesians can sound ambiguous to us as women. And we, we wonder what this means. Submit myself to my husband as I do to the Lord. We know that the Apostle Paul spoke to the men saying to love your wives as Christ loves the church. Right. This makes sense to all of us, right? And see, men were given a clear directive to love our wives as Christ loved the church. And we know that Christ loves his people unconditionally and passionately. So we need to look at our Ephesians verse in the same way, ladies, I think. I think so, too. And women need to submit themselves to their husbands as though they're submitting to Jesus. Okay, look. We know it's easier to submit to Jesus because he deserves it and is worthy of honor and respect. Right, but, you know, that's exactly why it's a godly act because most of us men make it hard for others to love and respect us as the Bible's commanding us, right? Here's what it says in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 6. Like Sarah, who obeyed Abraham and called him her Lord, you are daughters if you do what is right and do not give away to fear. This scripture was helping to explain how modern women should also act as the godly women of the past, adorning themselves with submission and obedience to their husbands. And we're saying to do this as unto the Lord as well. That's right. So how do you approach the Lord? Are you demanding? Are you the one telling him how he should be running creation? Are you snarky? You know, I bet you that you treat Christ with the utmost respect and, you know, you more, more than likely trust that he knows what's good for you and that he's looking out for your best interest, if I'm right. What we describe here is submission, and we submit ourselves to Christ because we trust him. Mm -hmm. We trust that he's not out to harm us, and so we allow him to be in control. That's right. Now, for you men out there, you need to take seriously your role and how you should do all you can to assure that you're worthy of respect, which means to assure your wife that you are totally committed to her well-being and to your family's well-being. Now, this doesn't mean that you're not going to make mistakes because you certainly will, but it does mean that your motives will not be in question and they will not be selfish. We are to submit to our husbands with the same submission we give to Christ. Now, some folks like to make this word submission a bad thing, but as you can see, it's not. Now, God has given each spouse a code of sorts to live by, right? Yeah. I mean, if we accomplished according to what God commands, then our marriages will be fulfilling, long-lasting, and blessed. Thank you for joining Les and Tracy King for A Word on the Word. Visit awordontheword.tv to receive their latest audio or video broadcast. A Word on the Word is sponsored by First Century Ministry 